Hello, and welcome back to The Fit Show. I'm Hannah Gordon, bringing you another update in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. On this week's show, we go once again to San Diego, California, to continue our leg workout with Garrett Downing and Derek Farnsworth. We also will go back to the kitchen for more pre-contest nutrition with Jerome Hollywood Ferguson. But first, let's go see what the guys are doing in San Diego, California. Welcome back to The Fix Show. Well guys, we've just completed our first uh, half of the leg workout. We just finished quads. Now we come over, we're gonna do some hamstring workouts, but we're gonna do something a little bit different this time. What we're gonna do, instead of doing set after set, we're gonna do a total of 100 reps. And what we're gonna do is, you go, I go, you go, I go. So that means you can either do 10 reps, 15 reps, 20 reps, 25 reps, as many reps as you can per set, as long as you get to 100. So, we're ready to roll, guys? Let's do it. All right. All right, as you can see, we're all going. Garrett and Peter up. They'll pick the same weight, and they'll stay with that weight for 100 reps, so. Usually it's a weight you can get about 20 on the first and then they'll tear down. You know, some people have better endurance than others. Um, Pete has great hamstring endurance. He'll go heavier than I will. But um, it may take you eight sets to do 100. It may take you six, depending on the weight you picked and your endurance. So, But what it does is picks up the intensity on, and kind of the slack. You can see there's four of us. So if we would do four sets of hamstrings one after another, we'd be here all day. So. Another thing this does 70. is when you've got four people, this actually moves the pace along a little bit faster. It also bumps up the How intensity many? here. Come on, Joe. Good, come on. Squeeze, come up. Good. Butt down, good. You'll see that I don't use as much weight as some do. Um, I'm not a big believer in heavy hamstrings, more squeezing because a lot of quad workout gives me um, hamstring anyway, so I'd rather feel the muscle on this one than pull and just swing the weight. Keep my hips down on the place, a lot more comfortable. If you watch Garrett's oh. form, his hips doesn't even move, and that's why his Shit. hamstrings are so big. Come on, Pete. Oh. Again, you can see the pace is already going. Pete's still going, they've already transferred, so gives me a little more rest, thank God. And for an added flavor, what we could do is say when we get to about 40 or 50 reps, we can actually switch to actually get a different area of the leg bicep. How many? Like 40 for me, 40, 45. 40 for me. Right now I'm at 40, Pete's about 45, so we got a good even pace one right now. Not really challenging each other, just kind of pushes each other to stay in the same range. Pete's definitely got real strong hamstrings. Mine, I don't have as good a feel. I'm more of a pusher than a puller. Nice. Come on, Joe. Squeeze them up. Don't worry about the number, don't kill it. Come on. Squeeze, Joe. Good, down. Switch. I'm at 50 right now. Come on, Joe. We do this every Saturday morning, 7.30. So if you're out there and you're close to us, give a call and come on down and join the front. Push your count, Joe. If you want to call it that. Oh, it's important that when you're doing this fast pace and with just about everything you do, especially hamstrings, to stretch them out because they will not up on you. What you got? 50 60. Yeah, 63. 63. So you see it's kind of quiet, just right to the point. So much you can see, just kind of get through it. Try to do it in two more sets. Come on. About 75. Come on, Joe. Come on. 
75. Come on. 25 more for it's Good. over. Is that you crying, Garrett? <laughs> you sure that's not you crying? Oh. Did she get that from you? Yeah. That's Garrett's baby in the background. I thought it was Garrett crying. I'm Come at 85. Joe. What do you have left, Garrett? Huh? What do you got left? I've got 10 more reps left. I got 15. And I'll be done. <laughs> we're almost finishing up here. Um, I was talking to Derek, seeing what we're going to do next. It's either going to be um, good mornings or either stiff, stiff leg or some variation of that. And for the last exercise for hams, we got a really cool exercise. You probably don't see it a lot in a lot of gyms. Maybe surprise a few of you, but once you see it, you guys will really enjoy it. Where'd Pete go? Did Pete sandbag on us? No, he's done. Wait, he's done. Is Pete up? It's 100, yep, it's 100. Oh, Pete's done. Pete actually did his 100, 100 reps. Okay, so we're gonna go on to our next exercise. Derek, what do you think? Bent over, stiff leg, um, high press. Well, seeing as you did stiff leg and you tore your hamstring, let's show them that you're fully healed and do them again. We'll do stiff legs? We'll be a little smarter with the weight yeah. this time. One thing I've learned from my injury is train a little bit smarter. When I tore my hamstring, I was doing 365 on a stiff leg. That's pretty crazy weight because most guys are deadlifting. I was stiff leg deadlifting 365. So rather than do that kind of weight, what I'm going to do here is focus on stretching. So you won't see a lot of heavy weight here, but you'll just see nice strict form. Let everybody know I'm healed up and these guys are ready to roll. We're going to go set up. So tune in next time for the next episode of The Fit Show with stiff leg deadlifts. Thanks guys, what a great leg workout. Now let's head off to the kitchen for some pre-contest nutrition with Jerome Hollywood Ferguson. Hey, welcome to the Fit Show. Ready to get this party started? Hanging out with Hollywood. What's up guys? wrong Ferguson. Hey, today we're going to do a pre-contest dinner, okay? So, now, it's a pre-contest dinner for me, and uh, we're going to say, on this one, we're going to say uh, we're about uh, two weeks out, because I want to make this one special for you guys out there, that you guys could take this totally awesome pre-contest meal and add it to your life, okay? It's all about loving yourself and I'm gonna show you some love right now, baby. Okay, we're gonna start off with fish, okay? My favorite fish is a fish that's not so fishy, and not so fatty, okay? The key is you wanna eat the, the type of fish that don't eat from the bottom. Like you don't eat catfish, okay? You wanna eat a clean fish, okay? Like my favorite fish here is red snapper. Okay, it's not a fishy type fish. That's why I like red snapper. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this red snapper once I get in the oven and start cooking it. Okay, so I like to do a, a little of olive oil on my snapper. Okay, just a little. And uh, my favorite kind, kind of um, seasoning is a, a lemon pepper. For some reason, Man is, man is living pepper. We can do a lot of things. I can put on my chicken, and I can put on my fish, and it makes everything taste good. And the uh, reason why, it does have a little salt in it, but not so much to really worry about it. And that's why this, this is gonna be our two week meal. It's gonna be like two weeks out from the show, and uh, this is what you can have. And at two weeks out from the show, my body fat percentage probably is like maybe 4%. What's that? So, here we go with this. And by the way, you have to have great cookware. You can't afford to miss a meal. You can't afford to mess up a meal. One thing, being a bodybuilder and you're eating so much, you can't afford to pay for it. So, this is a clay pan from the pepper, the pepper shelf, okay? The pepper shelf. Go online, get you some of this great cookware, and because you can't 
afford to be missing meals, to be messing up your meals, because it's caused too much for us to eat, okay? So, here we go. I'm gonna put this in the oven. And, with our fish, the reason, once again, I prefer the red snapper because it's not a fishy fish. I like halibut, it's not a fishy fish. I like orange refi, it's not a fishy fish. And it's a good, healthy, clean fish. F fish is one of the best lean protein you can get. If you guys out there did a fish and broccoli or fish and salad diet, I mean, I guarantee you 10 pounds, uh, well, I'll back it up a little bit because you may do it all wrong. I'm gonna show you a little more love. I guarantee you five pounds in six weeks just by changing your meals, okay? So, take this, what I'm showing you, add it to your life. Now, I'm not, I do like a salmon, but it's a little bit fatty for me, but you can have salmon. Salmon is a good fish. But for me, I prefer the red snapper, uh, orange recipe, and, um, and uh, or the halibut, or a nice white fish, okay? So, while we're preparing the fish, we're gonna prepare a salad. I like nice fresh greens on my salad. Nice mixed cream, okay? There we go. Nice big salad. Cool. And uh, once again, we're not dieting. We don't want to look at this as dieting, okay? We want to look at this as making the way of life. We want to look at this. I love myself so much, I'm going to eat good food for myself. Because you want to eat, once again, you want to eat the food that feels good to your body, not the food that actually make you feel good to your head, okay? Because you won't be feeling good later. So, in, in, changing, in changing our lifestyle, you're going to take this small, this meal that I'm making today with you, okay? So, we got our salad going there. Yes, we have an avocado, okay? I like, avocado is a good fat, natural good fat, okay? So, you can have an avocado on your salad, okay? Now, you don't want to eat the whole avocado, but you can have half of it, okay? We add an avocado to our salad. And you don't want to have too much of it, okay? So therefore, we did get a chance to save some avocado for our salad. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, we can also add onion. I love onions. You know, you can have onions. So there we go, got a little mess going there. We can also have onions on our salad. So, the fish, I kind of leave in the oven for about 20 minutes. I kind of like, I don't like my fit fish too wet. So, kind of leave it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, now, always be careful when you preparing your meal because being a bodybuilder, you do not want to injure yourself. Um, as we, as I was saying, um, the salad, <clears throat> you know, salad is more like for the dinner. You can have it for lunch, but I prefer, I don't know, I prefer salad at the end of the evening because it's something about salad that's making you feel good, you know. So, we got the avocado on the salad, and don't be afraid to put your onion on the salad, okay. So, I, I like to, I kind of like to, you know, I don't know, I like to kind of play with it a little bit, you know, make it kind of... Purdy, purdy, <laughs> you know. I don't like kind. I don't know. Call me whatever. I just kind of like make my food look good a little bit. And there you go. There we go. Bang. And then from there we add tomatoes. Okay. I, you know, I, I like these kind of tomatoes. I really don't know too much about tomatoes, but for some reason these little tomatoes I love. Maybe like a Roman tomato or something. But um, um, once again, always focus on when you using your cutting board and always use good kitchenware you know 
Don't be afraid to get on the internet and go to the pamper shop. Get you some good cooking ware. Okay, there you go. It's okay to put your tomatoes on there, you know. And this here would be, if I were, if I were uh, two weeks out from the show, I could eat like this, okay? And like once again, I want you guys to show yourself love and love yourself enough to take what I'm giving you guys out there, use it, and I guarantee you in about four to six weeks, you could drop five pounds just by changing your meals, okay? And once again, this is a lifestyle change. And don't beat yourself up if you mess up, okay? So there we go. That's our salad. Right here, baby. Check it out. Boom. Okay? Now, we still got fish preparing. And the salad dressing is a bosonic uh, vinegar. Uh, any kind of vinegar salad dressing is good. And this is one of my favorites. You know, because you, you want to keep it light. And that's why I kind of like my salad at the end of the day, because I can put a little of this good stuff on to really give you some flavor. Because throughout the day, you've been, you've really been working, keeping your, keeping your meals tight, keeping it simple, keeping your sodium down. And at the end of the evening, you reward yourself with a little flavor. So get you any kind of vinegar tea, vinegar salad dressing, is it. Boom. We're gonna check the fish. Ah, looking good. Not quite good enough for me though. I uh, I like my fish a little hard. You know, I like you know some of you guys out there that love sushi. I love a little sushi too. But my fish, I like cooked. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't want you guys to have carbs this late. And you should at least cut your carbs off at three o'clock before it's your carbohydrates for your potatoes, your rice and stuff. Uh, you can eat vegetables anytime you want to. And I prefer you guys to eat broccoli. Uh, you guys can see me making the broccoli today because um, so this, this particular show, I was kind of like broccoli out a little bit. So I didn't do a lot of broccoli, getting ready for the uh, USA. But uh, I want you guys to broccoli, man. Broccoli and fish, that's your money maker. I guarantee you get you in shape. You guys will be loving me now. Take this information and use it. Here we go. We are. Yes, here you go now, guys. There you go. See, you hear it popping? That's the real deal, baby. You see how they see how this you see how good this works? Tell you, you gotta get you some pepper chef. You see it, look at it. That's your fish, baby, right there. Okay, so we're gonna let that set for a minute. There we go. Look at that. See what I mean? But you got to get your good cookware. See that slide right off on the plate? Bang. That's it. You don't get no sweeter than that, baby. No sweeter than that. So I have to let this sit for a little while to cool off. And then I'll wash it off. Once again, always clean up behind yourself. Take care of yourself. Injury is free, so don't burn yourself. Okay, what we got here, guys, You see, as you see, we got your dinner, okay? I want you to take this and add it to your life. There's a lot of love here. I'm sharing with you because I want you to love yourself, okay? We got your salad, your rest, never fish, okay? We're here at the Fit Show. We love you. You love you. Jay Hollywood love you. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Mwah. Well, everybody, that wraps up another episode of The Fit Show. Be sure to tune in next week for more in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Until then, I'm Hannah Gordon. Thanks for watching.